Hey guys, this is Gurpreet. So I'm back with another video. Now in this video, we're going to talk about app configuration policies. So in the previous video, we talked about the app protection policy where the app has its own uh, set of policies on it. And in this video, we're going to talk about the app configuration policy. Now what the configuration policy is, as the name says, it configures the app. So for example, we talk about the Outlook. Even after downloading the Outlook application, you have to enter your credentials to have your data populated, uh, your emails uh, and everything like that. And same as with OneDrive and other applications, you have to have your corporate username entered. So here, uh, let's quickly go through and see what are the things we can do. So we have two options. Uh, we have Manage Devices and we have Manage Apps. As I mentioned, the policy can be given to all the devices which are enrolled or not enrolled. So basically today we're going to talk about the devices which are not enrolled, basically MAM devices. So let's talk about the manage app configurations. So to give you a brief uh, on this, you send an app using the MAM policies and the MAM policies has the app protection, let's say a pin or a pattern or a password, uh, other password. However, you still need to enter the username and password in order to create an account there. What here we can do is an admin can create a configuration policy where some of the fields can be populated. And for the enrolled devices, we can also have the Outlook completely configured. So let's check how it is done. So let's quickly mention test Outlook. And uh, this will enter credentials for Outlook. Okay. So let's select an app. So we can have a lot of applications, but we're going to talk about uh, Outlook. We can do it for both. Let's let's try out the iOS and iPad OS. And click on next. So see you can have general configuration settings and you can have Outlook configuration settings. So we talk about Outlook. So if you want to have the focus inbox thing we can click on yes or no. You, you noticed in the Windows Outlook, you might have seen that there are options for focus inbox and others. So we can keep that yes or no. Uh, require biometric to access app. So can we configure this? Yes. Allow users to change settings. So we have an option in the Outlook to go to settings and change and uh, make changes there. So we can allow them to make or not. Allow user to save contacts. So we can allow them on, we can block them. Uh, block external images and things like that. Default app signature that can be set for some companies have their default signature as well. And things like that. A lot of things, right? So we click on next, uh, we have the assignment. So again, we can review and create. So this is one of the policies. So let's quickly go back and uh, I'll give you another example. Earlier we selected the manage apps. Uh, now we're gonna show you how it works for manage devices. So manage devices, as I mentioned, the devices which are enrolled using company portal. And let's take an example again for test outlook. And let's leave it blank. And we're going to select the platform. Let's select iOS and iPadOS. So you probably have seen they have uh, the option pre-filled. Uh, manage devices, that's what we selected. So we click on uh, select apps. Now it will only show you the apps which you have added for the users. So since I've added already uh, Microsoft Outlook, so I'm just going to select this. So the policy applies only for Microsoft Outlook. Okay. All right. Now we have two or three ways how we can upload the configuration for Outlook. Let me show you. First, 
we can either use the configuration designer which is a GUI I will show you here quickly the other is to upload an XML data an XML data can also pre-configure everything and uh, it's it's pretty simple so basically the app development team mostly give you the XML data you just upload it here and that's it you're done uh, but you can also do the configuration here on the Intune console let's quickly click on that so once you click on the configuration designer you see options like this so this is done by the Intune admin the other thing the XML data is mostly done by the application management team all right so let's quickly jump in so here we're going to talk about email account configuration so do you want to configure it yes of course so we click on yes the authentication type we can select basic or modern so we're going to talk about modern here because since we're using Azure AD and Azure is the simplest way to get the data populated in Azure portal so we select Azure so we can select an AD attribute what is supposed to be there so it can be username or principal name UPN and then UPN here as well so sometimes UPN can be different let's say for some companies if the username is like temp or XXX or maybe first name and last name or maybe the complete address depends so here it works so now it says allow only work or school account so if you enable this the user will not be able to add any other account other than the corporate account on the Outlook application so in, in one of the comments I was asked that how can we restrict only the work accounts to be added to Outlook so I think this is the answer to that I will also link this for that user who asked me this question in the other video where he specifically asked me how can I restrict a user not to add any other account other than the corporate account in the Outlook I think this is the best way because they don't have to do anything once the device is enrolled they download Outlook or we can auto push the Outlook and once the Outlook is downloaded the configuration will be done there so this is the basic thing the other thing is that how to uh, give you the focus and general application so general app configuration means you want to focus the inbox or not we can say yes or not or not configured it should be on biometrics it should be on so these are the same settings which we have seen in the earlier uh, configuration so here the difference was to configure the application and there it was just some basic feature of the outlook which was configured there so see these are the strings we can add so the XML value can be added here as well and if you talk about SMIME so it is a different uh, uh, setting altogether we can deploy this using certificates uh, normally I think this would uh, satisfy all the required uh, needs and in the same way it is not just uh, the configuration for Outlook there are a lot of configuration which can be done for other applications since I've only added Outlook at the moment and uh, if you have any internal application which you uploaded that can also be configured using XML data and normally an app development team if they upload any application or if they give you any application they will also give you the XML data and you need to ask for that this is for uh, iOS let's quickly go and see what are the differences for other platforms okay so I'm gonna check about devices again and let's say we select the platform Android test again leave it blank Select an app. All right, so I've not added Android uh, Outlook, so that's why it's not populating. Anyways, so that's it, guys. This is the short video for app configuration policies uh, for Intune. I'm trying to cover more stuff using the Windows, so uh, this is dedicated for the mobile devices. But soon, I'm gonna also try and give you all the options which are available for Windows machine and the the there's another there will be another playlist for SSM Intune hybrid uh, I'm preparing a lab for that that's gonna take a while and once that is up I'm sure we'll love these videos coming forward all right so stay tuned subscribe my channel have a nice day ahead thank you